Hello everyone and welcome to this example recording on charge, current and voltage. So in this question we're going to be determining the following. The question reads as follows. Determine the charge entering a certain element. Rather, the charge entering a certain element is shown in figure 1.23, which is this figure. Find the current at 1 millisecond, 6 milliseconds and 10 milliseconds. So we have a graph and the graph shows us the current as a function of time. The current is in millicoulombs and the time is in milliseconds. Now, how will we determine the required current? So we need to then keep in mind what the equation for the current will be. So we know that the current must give us the rate of change of charge with respect to time. So what will the current be at one millisecond, which is at this point? It must be the rate of change of charge uh, between zero and one or between zero and two um, with respect to time. The reason I say between zero and one and zero and two is that I want you to see that that's a linear uh, graph there, that's a straight line graph. What is the rate of change of charge with respect to time? This must be the gradient of this graph. And what will that gradient be? The gradient was going to be the change in the uh, y, which is going to be 80 minus 0 over the change in the horizontal, which will be 2 minus 0. So that will be 80 over 2, which then gives you 14. Right, so what will the current be at that point? So the current will have to be the rate of change. And remember that A was millicoulombs and this was milliseconds. All right, and it will give you a value of current, which is going to be 40 amps. And we also know that the derivative of a straight line should be a constant value. So we know that this is a constant sitting at 40 amps. And that's the that's the current at one millisecond. And the current will be the same there as well as there anywhere along that line. What about the current at t is equals to six milliseconds? This is part B now. So part B the current at time t is equals to 6 milliseconds. All right, we take a look and we can see what happens at this point. At this point, you've got a straight line graph, which is basically, the, the graph would be, let's call it Q, which is charge, is equals to 80. Now, what would the derivative of that be? What will dQ dt be? The derivative of a constant must always equal to zero. So we know that that graph will sit like that all the way up until eight seconds. Right, so the current I gives you zero amps. And then finally, when T is equals to 10 seconds, which is in between there. So when t is equal to 10 milliseconds, what is the current? Again, the current is going to give us the gradient. So it's dq dt, which is going to be the gradient. So the change in y, the change in the horizontal over the change in the vertical. So that will be 80 minus 0 over 8 minus 12 this time. So that will be 80 minus 0. So that's the 80 minus 0. Y over the X will be 8 minus 12. And that's going to give us 80 divided by negative 4, which is then going to give us a value of minus 20 amps. So the current then gives us negative 20 amps. 
and if we sort this back to the graph we know that from this was from 0 to 2 seconds from 2 seconds to 8 seconds and then from 8 seconds to 12 seconds the graph will have a value of negative 20 and that's the final solution for this problem thank you for watching this video and enjoy the course